So this week's episode of Steins Gate Zero was definitely a very intense episode to say the least. I quite like what this episode did for the franchise in general because we do know in the original Steins Gate, Okabe does make it to the Steins Gate world line. He does end up saving both Mayuri as well as Kurosu's and also World War 3 never happens. And we know the reason that happens is because of the trigger, the message that Okabe does end up receiving after he fails one time at saving Kurosu. Then he gets the message, and then everything's happy-go-lucky fun times more or less when it wraps up. But I like what this episode introduced as we see another key factor into what's going to trigger Okabe in trying again. Because as we know, with this world line, Mayuri didn't push for Okabe to try again. She saw how hurt he was, and she wanted people to leave him alone and ultimately he settled for the beta world line. But now we're seeing that she wants to go with Suzuha back to the moment where essentially I feel like she wants to inform her previous self, I don't know if it's going to be face to face, or maybe she's going to send a message or something to that nature to essentially tell herself to kind of pick him back up, slap some sense into him so he will want to try again, and I think that's going to be a big factor into when and why he would get the message from his future self. I think that's actually really important, and yes, she does get hit by a bullet in this episode, but I am curious if she's going to die there. Like, I could see her dying just because it is the beta world line, but as it's mentioned in this episode through the message from future Daru, they've already kind of found ways to slightly shift the world line around, so it's possible that even though this is the beta, because things are starting to change, maybe she can actually die in this world line now. It's possible, and if it does happen, I think that foam microwave is going to be used and this is going to be avoided, but I do believe that it's possible she's not dead and she just got grazed the same way Okabe gets grazed when he's shot at because Okabe has a set date that he dies in in this world line, so if you shoot a bullet at him, things are just going to happen that the bullet's not going to hit him. We saw that with Suzuha this episode and in previous episodes when she did fire at him. Her aim looked like it was just like a sharpshooter, but in reality it was the world line keeping him alive. But I do believe Mayuri very well could die at this moment, and then the microwave will be used to essentially save her life. I could easily see that happening, but we'll have to wait and see. But overall, this episode, it was very intense because I like how Mayuri was confronting things. She wants to hear about the world lines. I just like how the characters are explaining the idea of the elf and the beta, where Mayuri lives in one, Kurosu lives in the other, but ultimately they want to reach Steins Gate, where none of them die, as well as World War III doesn't happen. But I think it's really, it's sad, but also kind of heartwarming that even though Mayuri knows that her love for Okabe, it can't be returned. He loves someone else. He has his own dream. Even though she loves him so much, she loves the mad scientist more. And he's not that mad scientist anymore. The mad scientist who kept her safe made her basically his hostage so she wouldn't give up on life when her grandmother died. I think that's actually so important that she's giving up being a hostage for a day to go back in time and save Okabe. And I think that's actually incredibly just emotional. It's gripping. It hits all the notes it needs to. And like, we only have six episodes left, seven if we count the OVA episode. And I'm very interested to see how the pacing will work, if we'll have time skips, or how everything's going to function. I do believe we can wrap up the show in six episodes, but I'm still interested to see how the series is going to progress. But once again, I think the directing was on point as well as the voice acting. They're really hitting it out of the park. You know, Daru last week, his voice actor really was the star of the show. This week, it has to be my Yuri. She really just hit all the emotional notes needed with the animation, just really making it feel so damn sad and just really gripping me personally. I'm so excited to see how next week is going to go down, especially with AI Kurosu going rogue, everyone kind of understanding the time machine, wanting the time machine, just how everything is going to end up, especially the fate of Mayuri in this current world line. Did she get grazed or is she fully dead? I'm really excited to see how that's going to play out, but nonetheless, I'm glad I'm starting to understand more about the first series and how ultimately Okabe was able to reach Steins Gate. We know we still got to focus on Okabe sending that message down the line, but at least now we're understanding what Mayuri's role is in this, and she's not going to sit idly by anymore. She is a key player into convincing Okabe to try again after he sees Kurosu dead. So I can't wait to see where this is going to go, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Your favorite moment, what did you think overall? Let me know what you're feeling, and before you leave, be sure to like the video if you did enjoy, and also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.